So by the end of this video, you are going to have some practical perspectives and skills to help you identify and connect with what it is you actually want in life. And I'm not even talking necessarily about the power of manifestation or anything else. I'm talking about the ability to truly understand, see and perceive your desires and know how to connect with them in your reality. It's a very powerful skill to have. And although it is a very simple one to identify, people often find it challenging in their lives, usually because there is certain attachments involved with running their current patterns, or because they may simply be projecting so much energy towards the way they've done things that they may not realize there's another way to go about getting what you want in life. So if it sounds good to you, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and dive right in. I'm Danielle Lin and I help people connect to flow based states in their reality. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and share some perspectives. Now this is completely unscripted and as really most of my videos are, if not perhaps all of them. And the reason I'm sharing this with you is because I am tuning in to whoever is connecting on this video. Now, since there's going to be many different people connecting on this video, some of the information may or may not directly feel like it connects to you. But if this has called to you thus far, if you are sitting here, I invite you to check this out and really sit with an aware intention because you will probably get something pretty cool by the end of this video to apply in your life so that you can connect with what it is you want. All right. So if that sounds good, let's dive right in. So a lot of us go through life believing that what we want are the things that were projected onto us or towards us from our families, from societies, from things that we maybe heard on TV or in the world around us. However, what we want is something that we were born into this world with. There is an innate knowing, there is a fire and a flame within us that is indomitable, meaning you can't put it out. It always exists. But what we can do is we can sometimes numb it, we can sometimes ignore it, we can sometimes attempt to cover it up with enough noise and distractions and other things that maybe for a temporary period of time, we're not looking at it or perceiving it or listening to it. And when that happens for a prolonged period of time, it can sometimes feel like we've lost our way or we don't know what we want. And what will usually happen is if that's the case, right? We, we live our lives, we run through our lives and we might come to a point in our lives where there's an identity of crisis or when there is a huge transition. And this can happen to us in many different ways and it does happen to all of us. I'll simply say, just so that you understand, it's not a failing, it's not anything faulty to sometimes be distracted from what our flame is. In fact, part of this human experience is the joy of us going forward and having many different experiences and experiments in our lives. And so sometimes we might even experiment and experience, what happens if I forget what my flame says? So really, there is no wrong way to live your life, but there may be ways of living your life that you enjoy more than others. And a lot of times I like to compare life to a buffet. You go to a buffet and maybe in the beginning you put a lot of little different things on your plate because you want to try a lot of little different things. <clears throat> and you'll find some things that you're like, oh my goodness, this is so, so good. And other things you're like, not even gonna touch that goes in the dishwasher. And life can be the same way. And not just one life, but any multi-life experience that you have had may have been you trying the different flavors of things until you create and identify the palette of what it is you truly enjoy experiencing. And, and, and if you're watching this video, you are one of those people who has gotten to the point where, whether in this life or, or across many lives, you have tried many different things and you are at a point where you are ready to live and experience what it is you want, the accumulation of all the different things you have tried. So this is like going back to the buffet, we're like, okay, now that I know what I want, I'm gonna pick the exact things it is that I want. Sometimes along the way of doing our experiments and our experiences, we can pick up certain patterns 
Sometimes these are conscious, sometimes they're unconscious. Sometimes they're ancestral, sometimes they're habitual, sometimes they come to us so that we can have certain really euphoric moments of overcoming the challenge. And sometimes they're just things that we don't know that we don't know. And so what we do in order to help ourselves out is we create synchronistic points, <clears throat> excuse me, such as this video, such as certain books, such as other videos, teachers, tools, things that you might come across that are going to help you come into awareness of what it is that might no longer be serving you so that you can make new and conscious deliberate choices. Because the very, 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 very cool thing about the current reality that we find ourselves in right here, right now, this reality, wherever you're watching this video, is that this is a, I almost wanted to call it a melting pot reality, but this is a pivotal point in reality where so many things, so many experiences are possible. I almost have an image of like, an airport terminal where you have so many planes coming and going and there's so many destinations and there's so many takeoff and landing times and there are so many different places that can be arrived at and in a similar way in this current reality there's just this flexibility of, of possibilities so whatever desires whatever core desires you have this is a, a, an actual wonderful opportunity for you to be able to experience them because we are essentially at a precipice of a new age now this is something that is coming in you know I, I don't I'm on this video I'm not going to get into the details of time this is you've probably heard from a lot of other people before about things like the age of Aquarius or a new era coming in or, or all kinds of things for the specifics of this video and connecting what it is that you want the key thing to understand here is that in an in-between state, in a transitory state, there's a lot of flexibility. There is a lot of space as one thing is shifting to another to experience things that maybe haven't been experienced before and might not be experienced again. So let's talk about how to help you ground into whatever it is that you want most, because that's what we're here on this video for. So. Let's see what comes through for this video because a big part of what I do in general is I help people reconnect to their truest selves. That is who they are when they are not in a pattern of believing old outdated stories or when they're not distracting themselves with things that aren't true to who they are. And then help them understand how effortless it is for them to connect with their true desires in reality here and now. So let's share some of the foundations of that. One of the most important foundations of doing this in your life is to simply be present. What I mean by being present is everything is happening right now. Any ideas we have of the past are already gone. Any concepts we have of the future haven't landed yet. Everything is happening now. There are some analogies that have been made to give an example like if you imagine a uh, film or old animation where the entire film is present and then there's maybe thousands of tiny pictures and slides in there and when you run them really fast through the projector they make the very fast moving image but all of the individual slides uh, exist simultaneously and in the same way it's like every single individual moment exists simultaneously and the most important one is the one you're focused in, which is what is called the present. And the reason it's the most important one is it's because it's the one where you can do anything with it. We don't actually, as long as we're focused on the past or in the future, oftentimes we are in our mind and our mind is just thinking or conceptualizing something. Once you're back here in reality, you have the ability to not only connect with your present energy, but present moment reality is where synchronicity connects with us. And this is very, very important because synchronicity is part of our indicators or our paths or our building blocks, however you want to look at them, towards each consecutive frame or each consecutive moment that can be guides or indicators along the path of what it is you truly want to experience. I know this is a lot of information. You are doing fabulous. You got this. And one thing I'm going to suggest to you is you can listen to this video again, or you can play it while you're doing something else and you can take it in in the back of your mind if you like. Again, check with yourself if this is appropriate. 
but this way you can take it in at a background or a subconscious level and you would be amazed at how much you can process with your information there. Please, I again suggest that you check with yourself first to see if that's resonant because anytime you're programming the subconscious, it is my highest recommendation that you first and foremost make a decisive choice for yourself and then if it's helpful to have a helpful guide like myself or anyone else come in to do that, please do that with a trusted source. So, as we are continuing, when you are present, okay, so be present in the present moment. A lot of us, we don't want to be in the present moment or we haven't wanted to in the past. I'll, I'll rephrase that. In the past, a lot of us don't want to be in the present moment because it can feel like a lot. And in the present moment, we sometimes have to face the things that we wanted to avoid from before. For example, for myself, there's a lot of times I haven't wanted to be in the present moment. I spent a lot of my childhood in my head and living out stories, living out fantasies. I read a lot of books. I played a lot of video games. I really, 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 there was like a lot of times I didn't want to be. And it's not because I had like the worst childhood. For myself, I reality was just a lot. It was a lot of stimulus. It was a lot of experience. And sometimes I felt extraordinarily overwhelmed. And the way that I coped with it was to attempt to slip out of my consciousness and focus on something else and get in my head. So a lot of us will have a lot of different reasons for maybe not wanting to be in the present moment. But a key, key one is often that discomfort. Now, what I would like to share with you at this time is presence is one of the keys for understanding what it is you want the most. Even if I said nothing else, presence will help incredibly. Once you have presence, you then add in gratitude. Once you are grateful for what's going in your life, you can then access your truest desires. Those feel like expansive fires within you. These are the components for understanding what it is you want. I'm going to leave some more details in the descriptions for us. In future videos, I am very willing to go deeper with this topic. Please share in the comments how this has resonated with you or not, or if you have any questions. And if this has been helpful, please do like, share, and subscribe. I have so enjoyed this first dive into this exploration together, and I look forward to going further, deeper, and more fun. Talk soon.